Hey guys, it's Sierra and welcome or welcome back to my channel. <laughs> okay guys, so today I'm going to be breaking down the Besame Cosmetics Love Lucy collection. Oh my gosh, I was so excited to get this collection. If you want to see how I got this look and you want to hear my final thoughts and opinions on this collection, please just continue to watch. But before you continue to watch, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to see you guys back. That was the fastest intro I've probably ever done in my entire life. Cue the transition. Okay, guys, let's get right into this video. I am so excited about this collection because this collection reminds me of my grandmother. Now, a little backstory about my grandma, my life, if you guys want to know. If not, just get past this. I was raised pretty much by my grandmother. My mom had me very young and she was a teenage mom. She was in school full time and she refused to stop school because she had a baby. So <laughs> my grandmother became the babysitter. When I was really young, I remember my grandmother putting me to sleep to Nick at night and she would always play. I Love Lucy, Dream of Jeannie, All in the Family. All of these shows I can remember so vividly in my mind because she would always put me to sleep in her bed because I was afraid of the dark. And then while I was dead sleep would transfer me to my bed <laughs> as a kid. And this collection I just needed to have because my grandmother, she is truly a blessing to every person that meets her she is so strong she has such a powerful story and she pushes me to be a better woman every single day this one is to you grandma now that i got that out of the way let's break down this collection best make cosmetics is an indie brand and they are known for their collections they have done a disney collection before they've done a marvel collection before and now this is their i love lucy collection the entire collection costs 150 dollars which is a pretty penny okay but i think this was a very well thought out collection so i'm not so mad at the price the components are absolutely beautiful and i think they are very very thought through it comes with a eyeshadow palette called ricky ricardo's club babaloo here are the shades right here to be honest i'm not so amazed by this eyeshadow palette as far as the shades go but on the other side of it, it is very I Love Lucy shades. What I'm saying is that the shades for this collection make sense. Now how they're going to look on my eyes, we don't know. I do though, I love the packaging. It also comes with two eyeliners and one lip liner. Dropped it. So I'll swatch all of them. This one is a eyeliner pencil. I did have all the packaging guys, but my kids, they they destroyed that. So it doesn't have the color on the pencils themselves. This is another eyeliner, a white eyeliner, which is very fitting for that time, right? And this one is a lip liner which I think is beautiful and really reminds me of Lucy. Okay, so all of these colors I think are amazing. I have been looking for a white eyeliner, so that's good. Let's see how that works. It also comes with two lipsticks. These do have the shades on them. One is called What a Peach, and this is what it looks like right here. Such a pretty color, and if you really look at this component, do you see how it has Besame? engraved in it i think that's so beautiful let's watch that oh that's a really pretty peach it does come off a little bit lighter on camera but it is very very pretty and it went off very smooth the next one is called love that redhead and here is that one as well so pretty also has the engraving right there And that is a beautiful red shade. Also, when you look at these components, look at the rhinestones, look at the detail. Then they have a powder compact, which 
so true to that day and age, right? The powder compact. And this is the shade of the powder compact. Now, I think that this is supposed to just be a blotting powder. Honestly, that would be a really good thing to just bring with you on the go and just pat, pat, pat and knock it out. Okay, so you have that. It also comes with a pencil sharpener for the eye liners and the lip liner. And it also has these eyelashes, which are a auburn color. So I don't know if I'm gonna actually use these for this look because I really think that my hair is really dark. So, I, yeah, yeah. You know what, maybe I will use that for another day, but I'm not gonna use these today. So that's the entire collection. My base is pretty much done. Let's get into an eye look real fast and let's see how all these products work. Boom. We should probably put some translucent powder down just in case this becomes a mess. Cause we don't wanna get it caught out there. We don't wanna be caught out there is what we're saying. Now we're ready to go. So the first shade that I wanna go in is with Ricardo Rose. It's this shade right here. It's a very light pink. This does have some kickback, okay? So if you are one of those people who's a kickback complainer, just know that you're gonna be complaining. Come on, don't let me down. Okay, so what I'm gathering just off of this color, I'm, I haven't gone into any of the other colors, but this color, you really have to build it up. So hopefully it's just this shade and this is not going to be something that is like this in the entire palette. My gosh, I love, I love Lucy. I just love that show it just brings back such good vibes you let me know down in the comments what your favorite old school show is if you have one i would love to know what's the one with the um the the nanny i can't remember it right now but she used to love that one too fran but what's the name of the show you guys know let me know down below <sighs> that color is a well you know we can be daring and we go in with this blue Okay, or we could just kind of keep it simple pimple-ish and go in with one of these, like one of these right here. What do you want to do? I'm afraid, I don't know if this salesman, it's called Salesman Blue. I just hope it blends well. You know what's so funny? Okay, one, this, this palette does have a lot of fallout. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But what's so funny is that if you told me like, to talk to you about a specific scene in like one of I Love Lucy's. <laughs> Best I may. Okay. Hold on, let me get focused for a second. so sad what? what's happening right now like it's so patchy and look how much fallout like I'm not even kidding look how much fallout do you see that and I'm not even a fallout complainer like but that's a little intense no I don't know what's going on with this I don't know I don't, I don't, I really don't know. Now it's like on some like, can I save this look? Is it even salvageable at this point? Also, this is an all matte palette. So there's no shimmer shades. Cause you know, a shimmer shade can actually like low key save pretty much everything, but there's no shimmers in this palette at all. Everything is matte. That's pretty bold of you, Besame. That is pretty bold. I think we just have to keep moving forward and just pray. So let me do the other eye off camera real fast. Okay, so now that we blended that out and it's... Mm. We're gonna use this blue shade right here. And we're going to pop that on the inner third and pray to the heavens. Pray to the absolute heavens that this comes out decent. I'm, 
I'm going to smoke out the bottom of my eyes using the same blue that is <sighs> so basically what I'm going to be using are these three shades right here. Let me get to work. I'm going to go in with a really fluffy brush, not intended for your bottom lash line. But to be honest, like you can use any brush that you want. Like, I feel like some people get caught up in like, that brush is not for whatever. But if it gets the job done, use it. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the pink shade. Okay, so let's use the white liner. I think that's gonna look really cute in the waterline. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, well, that's good. The liner works. I poked myself in the eye. So it's watering right now, but let's do the other one and then we can just fix this little part up. So sorry, guys. I really didn't talk through this for a lot because it was actually stressful when I get like kind of focused and I have to be like, oh no, like this is gonna go really bad. like. I have to, I, I can't talk, <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm so sorry, like, it was going so bad. It still isn't great, but it, you know, at least it's not going really, really bad. We got the palette down, we got the eyeliner down. Let's try out this little blotting moment. Oh, this is gonna be good. I don't necessarily care for this little sponge. I think it's a little bit too hard, but I mean, it does do the job. I do like this actually. Now we got the lip liner and the lipstick. The only lip liner I have is a red one and I'm gonna try to have it somewhat match this look. So here we go. So I'm not gonna put a ton of it on. I'm gonna throw a lip topper on top of this and what I'm gonna use is the Fenty Confetti. Now let's throw on some blush, throw on some eyelashes, wrap this whole thing up, get it together, and then come back with my final thoughts. See you in a minute. Okay, I really do not like this lipstick color with this look. So I'm gonna take it off, but you can see what it looks like. My issues with this is that it seems that it doesn't coat my lips. Like I can see my actual lip color popping through. So it doesn't have a lot of coverage and it just does not go with this look. So I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna do a nude lip. Okay guys, I am back. This is the finished look. Okay, so let's break this collection down. The good, the bad, and the ugly. So first things first, I wanna speak about the lipsticks. The reason why I took the lipstick off is one, it was really clashing for me with the eye look. And I think that because the eye look was so bold, it needed a very, very simple lip, which is why I went in with the Lunar Beauty Celine Lip Gloss. And this is one of my favorite lip glosses. It smells delicious like cotton candy, like you wanna eat it. It glides on beautifully. It's not too sticky, it's not too oily, it's the perfect lip gloss. If you guys are looking for a lip gloss, I would definitely go check out Lunar Beauty's lip glosses because they are absolutely amazing. The lipsticks themselves, if you look at the way that the lipsticks are shaped, do you see that? How they're shaped, this pointy edge. And you know, like most lipsticks, don't have that shape. They have more of a, let me find the lipstick and hold on. Okay guys, though this lipstick is much older and it is definitely expired, this is one of my favorite lipsticks by the ColourPop Makeup Shayla collection and it's called Quickie. But do you see how this lipstick has a different shape to it? Where you can just glide it on 
very smoothly. Ah, oh, this is such a great color. Ah. But you can just glide it on very smoothly. The, the problem with this is that because it's shaped so weird, it just is it's a little bit harder for me to glide the product on the, in the best way. Also, when it came to pigmentation of the lipsticks, you could literally see my lip color poking through the actual lipstick and that is a no-go for me. As far as the lipsticks go, I would say for me that they're a pass. The shades though are beautiful. I really think that the, the colors are really, really gorgeous. Now let's go into the lip liner and the eyeliners. Now the eyeliner that I used, the white one, I loved it. I really do like this eyeliner. And now I wouldn't say that this is as good as the 24 seven glide on by Urban Decay. By any means, I think that they have some of the best eyeliners, period, okay? But I would say that this is a very good eyeliner. It definitely does have very good pigmentation. And if it wasn't for the fact that I poked myself in the eye, um, <laughs> you know, I poked myself in the eye, but it was all good. I think that this is something that I will continue to use. I also have a brown one, which I showed you earlier, that I think that I'm gonna get a lot of use out of. So yes, as far as the eyeliners go, yes, 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 yes. When it comes to the lip liner, I'm not mad at it either. I don't mind the lip liner. It is a much softer, um, like look at it. Even I, I, all I did was a little bit of a moment and you see how it's just breaking off. So it's, it's pretty soft, but I don't mind this lip liner either. Now, because I didn't leave the lipstick on and the lip liner on for very long, I don't know the lasting power of this lip liner, but because I mess with a lot of makeup, and because I can kind of see the formulation, I'm going to go with, it doesn't seem like a long lasting lip liner to me. That's just off of my first impression. Though I have like three other pencil sharpeners, I just think this is so darling and so cute. I, I'm, I'm, I'm literally going to use it until I can't use it anymore. That, that's basically what I'm trying to say here. So this is a yes for me, okay, in my life. These eyelashes I did not try on. I do have this beautiful red wig that I do want to try these eyelashes on with. And so I can't tell you how these eyelashes apply. We're gonna see how these go. That's all I can say. The, the last thing I want to speak about is the eyeshadow palette itself. I, I'm not mad at the colors in this palette. If I didn't know the story behind the palette and know that this was an I Love Lucy palette, I would probably be like, Mer. but because it is an I Love Lucy palette, I get the shades and why the shades are in here. However, number one, I'm not a big Fallout queen. Like, it, Fallout doesn't really bother me, but this palette has a ton of Fallout. That's number one. Number two is that the deep shade, this blue shade right here. It's like a deep, deep, deep blue. Deep navy blue in person. But on camera, it definitely comes off more navy. This color was really hard to blend. And not only was it hard to blend, it was skipping a lot. So I would have patches and I would have to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, which I mean, I guess it's okay, especially when it comes to darker shades. They just can be a little bit more of a hassle to try to blend. Okay, um, the other shades that I used, this light blue, this pink, this pink did not give me a lot of pigmentation. It did take me a little bit of time to build that color up. The other shades that I used was this color right here, the lightest shade mixed in with the pink. And that shade is okay for a brow bone highlight. The other shades in this palette though, I did not use. For the price point of $35 for eight shades though, when I think about the quality of this palette, I'm not sure that I could recommend this palette to somebody because I just think that unless you are just a straight up I Love Lucy fan and, and that's just what it is, the pigmentation isn't really there, it's a little choppy, and when you think about the color scheme, it's meh. Now, if this was a $15 I Love Lucy palette, I'd be like, hmm, okay. 
<laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I think you could probably get a better moment from ColourPop honestly or morphe to be honest depending on the day that morphe decides to drop the palette we don't know because morphe is like <laughs> so overall this collection what i would say it is a mm, it's okay mm, it's a beautiful collection as far as the packaging personally i hope that you guys found that at least helpful to you guys if you guys want to buy the palette i really think that this is more of a collector's palette than it is going to be for somebody who's really looking for actual how do I say performance? Performance, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, that's why I bought the palette. I bought it because of the branding, the packaging, not really thinking about the performance. This collection also retails for $150, guys, $150. Is it worth it? Absolutely not when you think about how much it costs. $150 for this entire collection, it is not worth the $150 unless you are just a I Love Lucy stan. Best Made Cosmetics, I still love you as a brand. I love indie brands. I just think that this, especially the eyeshadow palette, I mean, the eyeshadow palette should have been the standout and I think the eyeshadow palette really could have used a little bit more work. Other than that, I still will always stand behind indie brands. I love indie brands and I love any brand that's really gonna come out with something really different and really catchy and this was one of those collections. So kudos to you, Best of May Cosmetics. And that's my final wrap up, guys. I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Peace out, guys.